Yesterday we read through Lancelot Andrews' prayer that led into uh, a summary of the Ten Commandments and a prayer that he would be able to stick not only to the uh, letter of those laws, but to the spirit of the law that lies behind each one. Today, he left us a list of what he called precautions, the hedge of the law precautions. And he doesn't give us, start off with words of prayer, but he starts off with um, a list of precautions that if taken, will help somebody to avoid sin. And he gives, along with each heading, a Bible verse. He doesn't write the whole verse out, just gives the citation. So what I'm doing today is giving you homework. Grab a Bible. If you don't have one, then you're already online and you can go to any good online Bible. Uh, there are many of them available. Find one there. Bible Gateway is a good site. There are several translations there. Find one that you like, open it up and use that. But do this. Hear what he has to say, then look up the verse. Then pause this video and think about it. Go on to the next and then read, pause and read the verse and start it again and, and do it that way. And after um, the 10th, there will be one more, an 11th point that will be followed by prayer. Give it a try. This is a man who was concerned with the substance of prayer, not just the words. This is what he wrote. Oh, and if you want to do this spread out across a couple days, do that. Whatever you find helpful. It's a guide to prayer, not a, a prescriptive kind of a thing. Here we go the hedge of the law. Now, remember in his time, um, hedges that were used as fencing, uh, especially for sheep, which were everywhere in England, uh, they would be closed up with thorn bushes that the sheep would be afraid to get near. And then to go in or out, you'd pull the hedge out, the thorns rather. And, and so you hedged things for safety. Let me get back to what I'm saying. The hedge of the law, precautions. One, to bruise the serpent's head. Genesis 3, 15. Two, to remember my latter end. Deuteronomy 27, 29. Three, to cut off opportunities. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 12. Four, to be sober. First Peter, verse eight. Five, not to sit idle. Matthew chapter 20, verse 6. Six, to shun the wicked. Psalm 26, 5. Seven, 
to cleave to the good. Romans 12, 9. Eight, to make a covenant with the eyes. Job 31, 1. Nine, to bring my body into subjection. First Corinthians nine, twenty-seven. Ten, to give myself to prayer. First Corinthians seven, five. Eleven, to betake myself to penitence. 2 Peter 3, 9. Then he finishes with this word of prayer. Hedge up my way with thorns that I find not the path for following vanity. Hold thou me in with bit and bridle, lest I fall from thee. O Lord, compel me to come in to thee.